Well, y'all can come on up here if you want to. He wants to go shovel a chance of bank eggs, so you can go. Saving your seat, guys. Yeah. Hey, is your camera above Ryan's head, or does he need to slide down more? Make sure his head's not above. Brian, are you here for fun? What? No. Wait, please. Okay. Uh, 41's on location. Uh, 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 You're here, Perry. You're here. You're here. Oh. You're not going. All right, so we're all here. All right, we're here. It's Christmas week. Merry Christmas, everyone. Big day coming up this weekend. Uh, all right, a couple of items logistic-wise uh, as we before we bring up the coach and our two players. Uh, just know the women are not here today. Of course, you all know they have a game this afternoon. They're tipping off against Kennesaw State at 4. Uh, then they'll be at home Wednesday night, 5 o'clock game against Florida Gulf Coast. And uh, if you want to know what an opportunity that is, Florida Gulf Coast just beat Kentucky and Lexington yesterday. And then they'll have a return game against them on the 29th on the road. And I bring that up since we're not having a news conference next week, kind of giving them two weeks of stuff. And then they'll be at home on New Year's Day against Anderson. Men had a big win on Saturday, Moorhead State, 79 to 52. Uh, Coach will uh, preview also uh, Troy. We'll be headed to uh, Troy to tip off Wednesday at 7. Again, no news conference next week. And uh, Coach doesn't normally want to talk more than one game ahead, and we're not going to today. Other than the fact, since we're not here next week, we do open up conference play next week, so just be aware that uh, this is the last non-conference game. Then we're at Samford on the 30th, on the 28th, and then the home opener in conference play against Chattanooga on New Year's Eve at 7. So a lot of huge games coming up. You got Coach Gary and Kamara Robertson out of Alpharetta, Jalen McCreary out of Marietta. Just a couple of quick numbers. These guys are having phenomenal years. Uh, Kamar is uh, 15th in the league in scoring, seventh in uh, at uh, free throw percentage. He's sixth in steals, fourth in field goal percentage, eighth in three-point field goals made, and 13th in minutes played. And Jalen's having an outstanding year as well. 11th in scoring in the lead, eighth in field goal percentage, and 13th in offensive rebounds. So these guys are having great years. We'll hear from them after Coach Gary. Rick, what coach likes to talk about games ahead? You always blow. You always put it on me. I think all coaches. Right, right. I don't think any coach likes to talk about opponents on down the line. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm excited about uh, the way we played against Moorhead State. Was um, finally I thought put the put a whole game together, especially defensively. Um, man, our guys uh, just carried out their assignments, played at a high level. Because uh, Moorhead State just come, they were coming off wins at Georgia Southern. Uh, the game before that, they beat ETSU. Uh, so and Preston does a really good job, and they, they, they're one of the most winningest programs in Kentucky. Um, so they've got a great tradition. So for us to come out and play we play the way we did, uh, very excited. Now we just got to keep keep doing uh, feed off of that. I thought it was um, uh, we've got good dudes, and, and, and the chemistry is good. It's just getting the basketball piece uh, 
you know, being able to, to gel with certain situations and certain guys, because I say it all, all along, uh, we've got some new pieces, new uh, roles for guys. So hopefully it's starting to click. Uh, but uh, very happy with the way we came out from start to finish. There was there always a part of the game that uh, you kind of get lackluster, a little, you know, that you mix around. I thought we were fine. Yeah, absolutely. We got got one more. Hopefully, we can have a good Christmas, end on a good note, and because uh, we'll come back right away. Uh, they've moved our game up to the twenty eighth of December at Sanford, uh, which I think is on ESPNU, I believe. Um, so that's why they moved that up. So looking forward to that. But we we got some business to take care of first in Troy, and um, just just looking forward. We we're going to prepare today and tomorrow for that, and make a trip up there and see how we do. How about that? Yeah, James uh, responded well. He had been kind of trying to get his cardio back uh, in practice, but nothing kind of simulates that until you get in the game. Uh, but he come out. He, he's been in big games before. He's he's played a lot of games, uh, but he responded. Gives us more depth, uh, not just from a scoring standpoint, from knowing just how to play out there and, and knowing how do we do things. Um, it's like he didn't didn't miss a game, but it's great to have them out there. That's for sure. And we had Sean Sean Walker back too, uh, which which definitely helped. Um, just from a you know, I, I've said all along I, I really like our depth. Now you know we had we had to few games quite a few games there we lacked a little bit of depth. So now we get more guys coming back. Uh, waiting on Shannon, he's still he's still not cleared yet. Uh, but once we get him back, then we'll be pretty close to full go. All right, awesome. Thank you. Um, honestly, I don't think so. Um, we practice. We practice almost every day, so I believe the consistency will lead on to on the court. So I don't think the holidays has nothing to do with our success on the court. Most definitely, because I feel like we have some things to prove to um, to people in the conference, and I feel like when we get everybody, James, it was good to have him, and when you have Shannon, I feel like sky's the limit for us. Um, I feel like I can do a little bit of everything. Um, floaters, my sweet spots, um, roll, um, pop, pick and pop. I can drive guys. I can rebound. I can play above the rim. I got a mid-range shot. So my three ball, I'm still working on it. I'm not comfortable with, comfortable, comfortable with it it's just yet. So I'm not shooting them until I'm, I feel comfortable with it. So, yeah. Um, 
Um, I feel like our defense from the beginning of the season to now has really turned up a lot. I feel like we're getting into guys and making it making them uncomfortable on offense. So I believe that over time it will end up getting better and better, and we'll be able to shut guys down and make them uncomfortable to score, and that leads to wins. Um, I believe we can go dancing. <laughs> That's how I feel, honestly. We have everybody. I feel like we can win the conference, and the next is the March Madness tournament. That's the goal for, I'm pretty sure, all of us. So that's the the goal we want to achieve. Rick rattled off a whole line of stats. Your top ten in this, your top ten in that. Can those stats be distracting? Do you celebrate those, or you're just on the court to play? Honestly, I'm just on the court to play. Just play hard each game. Defend. The stats will the stats will come, but it's because uh, I put the work in every day. So I mean, I don't really think it's a distraction. Just more so doing what I can to help us win each game each day. I think we were we were very well prepared for what what they were going to do and everything. And I think everyone just we all just came together because we know throughout the season we've been this close to winning a few games. So we all came together and actually defended the whole game, played a whole game, and it showed our best effort. And I think that really showed what we can do this year. Once we, I think, with with our whole team, I think we can come going dancing just like Jalen I said earlier. I think we are a really good team, really good defensively and really good offensively. So I feel like the sky's the limit for us, especially when we start clicking like we did recently. I think we can win it all, honestly. I think the key is for us to stay locked in defensively and uh, be able to defend the whole game. And not give any, not give anyone any easy shots or easy points, because if you spot people points, and it gets, it's difficult to come back in those games. So I feel like if we stay locked in defensively, our offense will come. Just the ability for my family to watch me each game and be excited and they call me after the games and stuff and just tell me how proud they are of me and everything. So basically just being able to play for my family and seeing how proud they are and how happy they are for me. Because uh, our coaches are great. They're, they're uh, very they're friendly. They, they... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's just a good environment. It's good people, good environment, good school. It's, everyone tries to help each other. It's not just one person go this way, one person go that way. The coaches call us. They talk to us each day. It's just a very family environment. It'd be a fun. It's a fun place to be at, honestly. And it's a great way to stay focused because it's not a big school, so you don't really have too many distractions around here, honestly. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, guys. Again, uh, no news conference next.